Hey there everyone, Spartan here from Linked Up Gaming, and today I will be giving a game review on one of my favorite games to pass the time, Nation Red for the PC. If you are new to the PC gaming platform, or just haven't picked up this game yet, I advise you to do so, especially if you have friends. Nation Red is like any other zombie survival game, where you go up against wave after wave of endless gore infested action. Zombies drop power-ups and weapons for your enjoyment, leading to a rank and leaderboard that could seem ego boosting. The single player story however is lacking due to there not being an actual story. But that is made up by all the carnage you can do in any other mode. You can choose one of four characters, each having their own unique capabilities and weapon proficiencies. Then choose to play the story, free play, survival and barricade modes. The story is a series of levels that are played one after the next, following a linear story. Each map can be played again, granting it to be harder for your enjoyment. Experience is given, and there are power-ups, but the zombies are limited. Free play is what I'm playing in this video, and as you can see, it's a survival with a level-up system where you enhance yourself with perks, and acquire random power-ups. Boss zombies appear at random, visible by the red name that hover under them, which adds a twist to your imminent demise. Survival itself is the same but without the perks or power-up drops by the zombies. You are only allowed the guns that are dropped, but are allowed to choose the weapon you begin with. So really, it's just a typical survival. Barricade mode is a survival where you will have to either protect an objective or stop the zombies from reaching the other end of the map. You get everything, but that may prove to be not enough when you reach the later waves. All game types are fun when you go for the long haul and even more epic with friends because you can get up to four of them at once in the fight. Oh yeah, four. And with four comes four times the opposition. The multiplayer aspect just brings more life into the game. You begin feeling so overpowered that when the real tension of death creeps along your shoulders, you feel the urge to yell at the screen. Constant zombies raining into the battlefield and only teamwork will suffice for survival. The perk system is a great highlight of the game because depending on the perks you choose, you control how you dominate the apocalypse. From physical to material upgrades and even godlike powers, each perk gives a unique feel to each time you play giving this game immense replay value. And again, I must add, playing with friends would only increase that said value. As you can see in here, the aesthetics are more than appealing enough to keep you sitting with your eyes glued to the screen, and I myself love the soundtrack of this game. It is a bit repetitive, but it just goes so well with the action. I actually found myself playing a lot more than I had originally wanted for this vid. So I'll leave you here to watch more of this gore fest, and I'll return in a few to deliver some parting words. Enjoy.
As you can see here, the battle just keeps becoming more intense and survival starts drifting from your grasp. All it takes is one swarm to bring you down in an instant. I hope you enjoyed this game review and please feel free to subscribe and comment below. And if you have any requests, I'll be sure to try to get a video of ASAP. This is Spartan from Linked Up Gaming and you'll be hearing from me in my next video. Stay tuned.